welcome uh, my audience who's interested in affiliate programming. So for those of you who know a lot of the story and who've been following for a long time, this is going to be a walk down memory lane. Um, but we're doing something new at Ashley Black Guru and it's very, very exciting. It's kind of taken us years to get to this point. Um, so many of you over the years have reached out and wanted to basically pamper chef this thing. <laughs> we've had people that will have wanted to be affiliates. We've actually even done deals in, a, in a Lithuania. We have so many professionals uh, that are already using the Fashion Blaster in their office and we just didn't have the infrastructure to be able to service the industry or to service all of our affiliates. I know as soon as we posted it, everybody was like, I've been talking about the Fashion Blaster for years, which is great <laughs> because now you can do one of two things. One, you can be an online affiliate where you do videos like me for your friends um, and you just have a link and you get 15%. It really is that easy. It's an automatic sign up and it's a super good deal. So <laughs> lots of technology went into that. Uh, and then we have a new amazing partnership with Box Out, if you know that name, or uh, Meyer DC. We're going to be working with a lot of different medical professionals and I know so many of you, I mean thousands, literally, have reached out over the years wanting that full service uh, wholesale retail where you can have it in your office, you know, and that just takes a lot of uh, time and energy that we didn't have. Um, my company grew so fast that it was like repairing an airplane while we were <laughs> already in flight. So I'm going to take you guys through the presentation that I did just before the coronavirus up in Cleveland with my new partners. And um, I just really want to explain the history of how, where the product came from, how it was developed. I want to jump almost immediately into the science because one of my favorite things about the fascia blaster is that we are the only myofascial tool to ever have a peer-reviewed and medically published study, but I think what it whispers in the wind is that, oh, it's a cellulite stick, which obviously, you don't have any cellulite, yeah. do you? <laughs> yeah. It's absolutely 100% a medical device. In fact, it's a registered class one medical device, and so I wanna go over some of the science with you. Um, I'm gonna be going through each individual tool um, and feel free to ask questions um, as long as I can see it. <laughs> um, I'll definitely be answering questions, but let me walk you through a little PowerPoint and I apologize for the technology. I'm just going to have to like show it on my laptop. We don't have a full service studio here, so <laughs> we just have to do it a little ghetto style and that's okay. So um, I want to start with this. Okay. Hi, I'm Ashley Black. <laughs> All right, what is fascia? This is my favorite image ever of fascia. It's a little gory for some people, but I think it's just so beautiful because you can see that the fascia is on top of the muscle and it's also inside the muscle. It literally connects everything in one ginormous piece, okay? Um, this is not my image, but I wanted you to see the real thing so when I show you the animations, it makes a little bit more sense. And I'm gonna go into the four types of fascia. Now, one of the things you know, particularly if you're a medical professional, um, I see a lot of you guys on here already. You know that in the world of fascia, they call it everything. You know, we hear septe, we hear fibrosis, we hear um, connective tissue, webbing, aponeurosis. These are all things that are fascia. And so I wrote a little book that just happened to become a number one best-selling book. Um, and broke out 
four types of fascia that I think really explain it very well. So this right here is the structural fascia. So this would be what separates the muscles. And this is actually a piece of fried chicken. Can you imagine doing the photography for that? Um, so when you open up a piece of fried chicken and you see that membrane that's inside, that runs around and through our muscular system as well as in cases our heart cavity and um, some of our other organs. So structural fascia can be really, really strong. Um, it's a plastic surgeons <laughs> love to work with it because it's strong and you can anchor things up. And if you have a problem with it, it's, it's not good. It's right there below the skin. Um, this is the interstructural fascia and this is actually from a surgery. Now you've seen this in meat where you pull apart a steak or pull um, you know, a rib off the bone and we see all of this interstructural fascia. So the structural fascia is actually connected to the structural fascia. Then in several places in the body, we have visceral fascia, which more, looks more like this. It's primarily in the abdominal area. And the way that I love to explain it, because it was not based on nothing, was um, the movie Alien, <laughs> where the baby alien, I guess, I haven't really seen that movie in a long time. The baby alien comes out of the stomach and it's covered in this goopy mess. Well, that's the visceral fascia. Or if you've ever done your turkey for Thanksgiving, um, same idea, the visceral fascia. And then my chiros, this is what I want you guys to see. Um, and you probably already know this, but this is to me one of the most mislabeled things that we have in our textbooks is our actual spinal um, column because it's actually wrapped in three layers of fascia. We're just still kind of using the code name dura matter, pia matter, and arachnoid matter, which is interesting. I mean, think about what arachnoid matter means. It's like spider-like material, and that's what's encasing our spine. So when we put all of these together, remember that the fascia around the spinal cord is attached to all the interstructural fascia of the muscular system surrounding it, which is attached to the structural fascia at the surface and then it has, you know, visceral all around it. Jordi, I saw you point. Was there a question that we needed to stop? No, it's just people were saying Happy Easter. Okay, well, do you want to tell them Happy Easter? <laughs> <laughs> Jordi is my it's boyfriend. Brenda. Brenda. <laughs> he wants to, who is it? Happy Easter, Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to make sure Brenda, he's 6'1 and I'm 5'1, so that's why the camera has to move around a little bit. <laughs> uh, he wants to make sure everybody's saying Happy Easter gets their Happy Easter. You're very sweet. You're sweeter than me. I'm like all into the fascia already. Okay. Moving all along, if you see another one, feel free just to shout it out, okay? <laughs> um, so then I just wanna show you an image of healthy and unhealthy fascia. Now, again, this is an interpretation from what I showed you earlier. So when we have healthy fascia, it's basically the skin, and then that white stripe is the top layer of fascia. All of the yellow is our fat, and then we have another layer of fascia, and then this is the muscle. Um, and then the interstructural fascia runs all throughout. Um, and don't forget, and, and maybe even some chiros don't know this, I'm not really sure what they're teaching about fascia in school, um, but the fascia system houses our blood, our nerves, and our lymphatic system so it has an impact literally on pretty much um, every health and beauty issue that we face um, and then I love this because there really are just not very accurate depictions of um, I think we just called it <laughs> when I originally made this PowerPoint I called it crappy fascia but that's just the way that I talk but um, everybody knows on my group because we talk about it all the time about having adhesions in the fascia. So this kind of shows the fascial septae with some adhesions, but anybody out there whose entire body feels clumpy and hard, you could have adhesions all through your fat. Those of us who've had trauma or you don't even have to have trauma can have micro scarring all down into the muscle tissue, which can cause you know a lot of pain. So I love that we're actually able to show 
what it should and shouldn't look like and that we've now had that validated um, in ultrasounds. So I just want you to keep that image in mind because the way that the fascia blaster actually works is to come in like a hairbrush and start combing through these adhesions, okay? So um, you can't you know, stick your elbow on top of this. You can't use a foam roller. You can't use any type of rolling device. In fact, what makes the fascia blaster work is the way that the claws penetrate down into this tissue and literally scrub out adhesions. And if you don't believe me, I'm gonna prove it in just a minute. Actually, I'm gonna prove it right now. <laughs> All right, so um, even if you don't know much about uh, ultrasound imaging, I'm just gonna tell you this is um, an image of the thigh from the side. And remember, if, if this were one image, it would be exciting, but we, ha we did a 33 subject study, and as the researchers were compiling the data, they had no idea what they were looking at, so there's just no way to skew this. Um, you know, we used a third-party lab. Uh, in Tampa, Florida, ASPI. They're a very decorated um, research lab. So you can imagine how excited we were watching before 30 days, 60 days, and now 90 days. But now keep in mind the, the drawings that I showed you. So what we're looking at in the ultrasound image, this is the before and this is the after. You, this is the skin layer where you see those little up and down lines right there, that is the fat layer. This next layer is the top of the muscle, and then there's multiple layers of fascia, and then way down here at the bottom is the femur bone. And then you can see what happens 90 days later. Let me get real close so you guys can see that, okay? You don't have to be a doctor to see that this is a mess and that this is clean. And that's the whole point, okay? So that's amazing that uh, we can see that at the surface, um, but what's more important is what's happening below. So I, I just, I love the fact that I'm talking to a lot of doctors here because I want you to think about the implication because I know people push hard with the fascia blaster, but nobody is pushing to their femur bone. <laughs> So it definitely lends us to uh, theorize that something is happening that's creating a mechanism for the tissue to actually remodel. And we did see that in the science um, with an increase in the PICP markers, which is um, collagen. <laughs> okay, so for my non-doctors, okay, you want pretty legs, here you go, this is how we do it. <laughs> All right, so I kind of went through when I did the presentation and, and wanted, just in case, because uh, Meyer services chiropractors, physical therapists, acupuncturists, eye care physicians, uh, nutritionists, sports DCs. So I kind of went through and just talked a little bit about, I'm just gonna show you the slide, and I'm happy to send this to you um, if you would like it. Um, Chiropractors for sure are working, I mean most chiropractors I know are working with the entire soft tissue um, system, but specifically what I'm calling the spinal straw. Every single chiropractor is 100% invested in the nerve root coming from the spine, you know, and it's just, uh, to put it like in a silly way, it's fasciorama, okay? Your whole spine is fasciorama, <laughs> so super, super important for chiropractors. Um, physical therapists tend to work with the myofascial tissue um, and this is just a different approach you know I have been to uh, classes on myofascial release and I am very familiar with anatomy trains and I think that all of those things are wonderful I just think sometimes we just evolve and um, I found a different way to work with the fascia that I think it goes complementary with everyone else's techniques um, acupuncturists, for sure, everywhere fascia crosses, that is, you know, you guys know it as the meridians. Um, I want to throw in, because I'm a big yogi, that uh, fascia also houses our nadis. Um, so no matter what type of work you're doing, there's a brush point with fascia. Even eye care, okay, and I didn't even know this until I did this uh, presentation, eye care, the 
the bulb <laughs> is made of fascia. Hair follicles, fascia. Um, for nutritionists, super important because how do your nutrients get into your cells once they go into your mouth? Do you know? <laughs> Through your blood. Okay. Jordy and I have been talking a lot about blood because we have a hyperbaric oxygen chamber. So, <laughs> but uh, if you want to uptake your food, you've got to have proper blood flow and um, loving that because blood is inside of the fascia that it has a definite brush point with that. Um, so it's more like, it's like nitrox for your nutritionist. Whatever good stuff you're putting in, you wanna make sure that it gets to the cells. And then obviously, I wrote in here sports, DCs and LMTs. You know, whether you know it or not, you're working with the fascia every single day. So I'm very happy because I've seen literally over the past, even just five years, you know, people making a distinction because it's not all myofascial tissue. Sometimes it's just fascia. Sometimes it's just muscle, sometimes it's both. Sometimes it's a tensegrity model. Like there's a lot that goes into it and I'm super happy to see that. See something about, uh, Carrie says, can't wait to use this on my patients. Such an amazing addition to make chiropractic more effective. I'm so glad that you said that because that's kind of where I'm going. Um, you know, uh, I wanted to give you the whole Ashley Black history, but we would be here all night. <laughs> but I was working on a program called NeuroCore Kinetics and actually used to provide continuing education um, for chiropractors and physical therapists. Um, and I was very interested in the co-contraction of the multifidus pelvic floor and transverse abdominals and keeping the core engaged while we moved extremities and properly moving the core that way. Um, and I was paired up with a chiropractor. And what I realized is that a lot of times, particularly in the high level sports arenas, is that you structurally couldn't keep your core engaged and maybe do like a hurdle movement. Um, and then that's where I really started to get fascinated with creating these ranges of motion. Um, and in a chiropractic practice, you have to think it's like a dream come true because first of all, you're gonna save your hands. I don't know how people bill, but you know, this is something that in most states, I think a tech can do, you know, home program compliance and you know, just getting them ready for an adjustment. Everyone knows if you come in and you're warm and the blood's flowing and your tissue is loose, that oh, the adjustment is gonna be amazing. Um, I know the chiropractor that I worked with for years, he was all about uh, minimizing rebound because sometimes, you know, when you move something that's been stuck for a while, it gets a little tender, you know, so this just goes so beautifully with all of that. I could talk about it all day. Um, I also just want to let you know, I really just want to show this image because it's funny. Um, Ashley Black is bringing fascia to Main Street. Yeah, she is. <laughs> I have to tell you, when I used to lecture, and I tried to roll this out medically, and no one was interested. Uh, they thought I was crazy. Well, about half people thought I was crazy. So I decided to go to the people like me that needed it, which is those uh, B2C people. Um, and it's pretty amazing, actually, how famous the product is. Um, it, you, you know, I don't go looking for this stuff every day, but. Anybody who is in marketing, we have had 414 positive articles in six different countries, and we've had over one trillion, that is with a T, one trillion media impressions. So for my professionals, they're gonna walk through the door and ask for it, or at least sort of know what it is. I already see people saying, does anyone do this in Miami? And <laughs> we get that every day, doctors, okay? So get on board because they want it, believe me. Um, it actually creates the demand. When you're at home and you blast and you know how amazing you feel, there are just certain spots that you really can't get to. And um, I know Jordy and I, we get blasted by a professional as often as possible. Yeah. <laughs> Even when we could do it on each other. Everybody loves it. A times a week, yeah. Yeah, literally a couple of times a week. It's made a huge difference. Um, we also, I just wanna let you know, anyone who signs up, 
Um, you guys can just check out some statistics. We do have the second largest closed women's Facebook group. We have over two and a half million followers. Um, and when we launch new products, somebody can throw up love for this. It, it really doesn't happen on purpose. We just don't realize like how excited people are about it. But we tend to have about 100,000 people on the waiting list. So I literally am handing you the keys to the castle and saying, professionals and affiliates, go do it, okay? This is a legs that grow legs that grow legs. Um, I also did some comparisons with um, brands, beauty brands, top 10 most socially influential beauty brands, and uh, we were very similar to Anastasia and Kylie Cosmetics in terms of kind of the hoopla. So that's good, it's, it's nice big numbers. Um, the company has also been pretty decorated. We're very, I'm just going to say blessed, straight up, praise Jesus, we are blessed. Um, uh, I was able to become a number one best-selling author before I even finished the book. Um, this is the first massive, massive meaning not a case study, <laughs> peer review and published um, study directly on fascia. Um, we are the first people to ever do a TED talk <laughs> about fascia. Um, and it's also the first commercial success around the world. Um, I know that there are some other tools out there. Trust me, I am, I'm a Graston fan. I'm a Roland fan. I love my rock blades. There's room for all of us. <laughs> um, and then we also were able to win some awards like um, best innovation of the year and then fastest growing companies and things like that. So yay us. Uh, the other thing I think that's really cool because we want to give you where you can share this. So I'm, what I'm saying is I'm stepping up to support your marketing, not just give you products and turn you loose. We, if you sign up for the affiliates or if you sign up through Meyer, we're going to be giving you things that you can share. One of those things that we're very blessed again, we do not pay for celebrity endorsement, yet we have had some of the biggest celebrities on the planet um, post about the Fascia Blaster tools, including people like Deborah Messing, Lily Grace, she was my personal client, supermodels that have walked the runway, Kardashians. I got a letter from the Arizona and Diamondbacks, which never happens for pro teams, just to say we endorse you. So I just wanna give you confidence to know that I'm gonna support you with allowing you to use these assets um, to market your business, your new business, your new Fashion Blaster business. So dun dun dun, sales. This is not something that I normally talk about, but I do want you to know that this product has had a huge impact. We've sold over $100 million worth of these things. That would not happen if it didn't work. People always ask me, you know, what did you do in marketing? To be honest with you, it was almost all word of mouth. I saw a few people on here <laughs> that uh, I've been looking at the same people for the past six years, and I, I'm pretty sure that those people are the ones that went out and sold it. We did a little Facebook marketing, but at the end of the day, when your product does what you say it does, then, then that's a good thing. So there we are. So let me get into really quickly here. I want to show you just a few before and afters. You know, it's crazy because we see them every day, but we forget sometimes how vast uh, having, you know, good fascia really affects things because it really does determine not just what's happening deep inside, but it's also determining what is going on at the surface. You know, so everything from, you know, little wrinkles on the forehead to this scar amazes me because it's 20 years old. Um, you know, just to, you know, face freshening, things we had no idea that it would do, like Panis. I'll never forget, I hope the lady's on here because her and I like cried together at my book tour. I had no idea that when someone's stomach hung over that it could actually fix that issue. <laughs> um, I'm very, very hopeful, Kairos. Please throw up some love. Um, you know, each vertebral segment is, um, you know, affected by the tissue around it. Um, so if we can slowly by slowly, um, start getting those things more mobile. I think we have a really good chance to have some impact on scoliosis. This uh, 
child was actually just blasted with with no skill done by his mother so that's exciting this was this image and another woman i presented in the ted talk um bellies you know we all want to have better bellies i think that this is probably my favorite picture on dimpling um, because you know you can tell that the woman did not lose weight um, we're changing the shape of butts old scars you know you have to remember that scar tissue and fascial adhesions and fibrosis the thickening of the tissue these are again all the same words <laughs> congested tissue absolutely man. i love you Justinia. all right guys so let's jump real fast into the science and then i'm going to present the tools and and show you how you can use them um so this is the study I also have asked my social media team to, this is on my website, but um, I want you to post the actual study since we have doctors, they like to read that uh, micro data. And if anyone wants to be supplied raw data, I'm more than happy to let you look at the blood results. We did blood results, DEXA scans, ultrasounds, metabolic testing. And what we found, these are just the highlights of what we found using real measurements and blinded researchers. So you guys saw the ultrasound that the tissue is definitely reorganizing. We saw in the blood a decrease in systemic inflammation. Can I pause for a second? A decrease in systemic inflammation. That's huge. We measured, if anybody's curious, we measured the um, C-reactive protein. Um, then we had 100% of the participants saw a reduction in cellulite, which I know is not the crux of chiropractic, but it's also, um, it, it is important if you're going to be an affiliate. Um, and what's so interesting to me, I always tell the story is that the, it wasn't like it was subjective. We took pictures from zero to five, you know, perfect skin to like full blown, just worst cellulite on the planet. And the researchers were looking at photographs. They had no idea who it was, whether it was a before, whether it was after, and they were just supposed to rank it based on um, what the picture matched up with. And 100% of the participants saw a reduction in cellulite, and most of them went several grades down, and in some cases, all the way down. So very, very interesting stuff with that. Um, we had an increase metabolic rate which is exciting um there's all kinds of metabolic diseases out there so i hope the doctors that your <laughs> brains are churning um and then we also saw the uh, picp markers increasing and then this is just an interesting thing if anyone out there just wants to break up fat we can't really say we broke up fat but what i can tell you is that at the site where we measured where people blasted, there was a reduction of fat and there wasn't a reduction in overall body fat. In fact, we did this during Thanksgiving and Christmas. And so it definitely leads us to believe, mixed with also 100,000 or more pictures <laughs> that we're breaking up uh, fat at the site. And then the most important thing is that, you know, we wanted to make sure that as people are using our products, I can tell you for sure um, that you know, stuff comes out. Um, just this week, I was really blasting my arms and now I have like basically what feels like a cat's tongue. <laughs> so um, we have definitely heard of, you know, symptoms of using the fascia blaster and we wanted to make sure that they were all in line with normal um, metabolic consumption and, uh, you know, going out through nat natural processes. Um, and so we did test all of that and um, out of the 33 subjects no one was uh, taxed in their blood and let me tell you we blasted the, the crap out of them we really did we wanted to see uh, with a, an extreme blasting session um, if if the person could tolerate it so very very happy to report all of that scientifically okay I'm about to get into the affiliates so just hang tight let me let me talk to my doctors here for a second so how does the practitioner benefit? Um, the fascia blaster tools enhance the practitioner experience. They're clinically proven. Everybody wants evidence-based tools and evidence-based techniques. Here they are. Um, 
the fascial blaster creates an instant blood flow, which I'm going to show on Jordy's back. Um, they're e easy to use and they're inexpensive. They make self massage appealing. You know, we could all go and, uh, you know, rub ourselves, but we don't, uh, tools just make it easy. Um, it's a tried and true method for B to C and, uh, you know, the beauty stuff is a, <laughs> is a, is a good part of it. Also, the patients are going to walk in asking for these treatments. Believe me, I already see them on here. Um, I think you're going to see better patient outcomes as well as better compliance. Um, good ROI for practice billing, good ROI for retail stores. Um, brings a little flair to the practice. Um, and then obviously the saving of the hands. Okay, so if you're with MyRDC and you wanna do this, part of why I sort of rushed, and I think they all hate me over there, um, to get these portholes up for you guys is because we're all at home. So if you have a, a medical practice or the rest of you with the doing the affiliates and you wanna go get signed up and take to the airways on Monday, and start selling these things, you can. So there was a little bit of a rush to get it going. Um, I know a lot of people want to know if there is going to be um, training and certification. We are going to have, not yet, but it's coming. And as long as you're on our email list, don't worry, you will find out. Um, we are definitely going to be doing online training and it's gonna come with some you know, levels of I'm not gonna use the word certification, but authorization. Um, and it's also gonna come with all of the assets for you to be able to work your website and your, um, you know, your stand-up product stands and things like that. So, um, but for right now, I said, look, we can launch this in a good, better, best. Good is you're at home and you can start making money, okay? Better is gonna be the online training and then best, obviously, is gonna be coming to Costa Rica and training directly with me. And Jordy. <laughs> Jordy has offered to organize the whole thing, so <laughs> that's, a, that's a good man right there, putting up with all of that. All right, so let's talk about the affiliate because I feel like everybody wants to know. Um, jump up in the actual post to the live feed tonight. Um, I put a link for, to become an affiliate. It literally is as simple as clicking on that, entering your information. You have to understand it's for US only. I'm so sorry, I'm working on the rest of the world. Um, but you have to enter your tax information because this will hopefully be a nice little um, income stream for you. So as soon as all of that is verified correct, then you will get an affiliate link and it literally is as simple. Even if you're not a practitioner or a trainer, if you're just an enthusiast, you can go to whatever, um, you know, Facebook, Instagram, email list, family, whatever you wanna do and, and whatever you post, you put your link, they feel like they're shopping right on our site and then you get 15%. I know we have some celebrities too, so, uh, you know, here's your chance. <laughs> your big old audiences, so. Um, and then if you are a professional, I see many people I know that are using um, the tools you know, in a clinical situation. So if you are that person, we have a portal, that's the second link on there, um, where you can come in and tell us you know, whether you're an MD, DC, DO, LMT, acupuncturist or whatever, and we're gonna make sure that either we take care of you um, or that you can work with our new partners at Box Out. Um, this is gonna be full service. It would be where you could carry this in your office and in your stores, and you could be an authorized dealer, which comes with cool stickers and t-shirts and stuff like that, <laughs> okay? Um, and then if you are already with MyRDC, all you have to do is just reach out to your representative. And if you somehow end up in our inbox or our porthole, that's fine. We'll make sure we get you where you need to go. So even if you didn't catch anything, I see people just popping in being like, what are we doing? <laughs> if you missed it, this will stay right here on the Ashley Black Guru page. And if you have any questions or you wanna sign up and you just 
completely or non-technologically advanced like me, then we will um, we'll send you the links and we'll make sure that we get you signed up. When should you do both? Um, both would be as if you are a provider like our friend Jacenia on here who has a clinic in New York City. Um, and you also wanted to have a retail store. So that's your a provider or a reseller. Um, anybody who has a store can become a reseller. You know, honestly, people have sold it in clothing stores. And <laughs> my, my short answer is, I don't care who sells it. Uh, you know, we, we are, have taken a turn around the corner where all of the loyal and faithful people who have been with me and, and love this product can make make some money doing this however they want to you know in the beginning i know there's people that have all my trademark pictures sitting on their desk i've seen it you guys send me this stuff you know and and for me i didn't want to slow the science um, by trying to control too much you know so now not only am i not controlling it i'm giving you an opportunity and i'm going to actually license you those assets and try to give you the best possible chance to do really well with this. Julie Chilbert is another example. She has, you know, personal patients. She has a yoga studio. You know, it's, it's perfect for her. Um, as an LMT, I can use, yes, you can use the tools if you're not certified. Um, we are going to be having different levels of somebody who's an LMT and using it in practice. So I suggest that you get with box out, um, because they are just going to be able to take better care of you than we are. We are pretty much an internet based company. And so if you want that full service, it's better to go with Box Out. And Box Out's amazing. Yeah. Jordy went with me and we were like, dang, they got it going on. They've been in business for like, do you remember what Matt said? Like 70 years or something. Yeah, uh, a huge company. They really do uh, an amazing customer service. Yeah, yeah that, what, that we could never ever do. I can't even yeah. imagine. Like they literally get on the phone and do that. I don't. We very rarely ever call anyone. <laughs> so we're more like a tech company. Um, okay, let me make sure I get through everything. So it'll be more of a levels of service. You could be like a Blaster Pro or Blaster Ace, which again, don't worry about that for now. It's things that we're going to email you about. And right now, you're going to be an authorized dealer or an affiliate. Okay, and then as we start doing the online training, then you'll have levels of certification. And then obviously, I want to take all of you with me and have you be actually Ashley Black certified. And those would need to be live trainings. Um, I need to get my hands in there with you, okay? So that's coming. Um, okay, is there any burning questions? I love it. I, uh, people who I haven't ever talked to, oh, she said estheticians. Yes, girl, facials with these things, you know what's up. Listen, if you understand fascia, you can understand that it, it could be a dentist, you could be a plastic surgeon, you could, uh, basically anybody that deals with the human uh, body can now work with us on a professional level. It's very exciting. Sure. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna run through the tools. All of the, it, basically anything that we have in stock is going to be available for affiliates. And then people who are with Meyer DC, I hope uh, the owners of the company are not watching, but just bug your representative about what tools that you want and we'll get them ordered. Rhoda Joy is another perfect example. Um, she is incredible. She's in Florida. She's like, does all kinds of home programming. She's a physical therapist. So like people have been on this train for a while. It's just the... Uh, the conductor has been on the sidelines, so I'm very happy to be in the train and leading you guys. So let me move this in a little bit. And I wanna show you the tools, first of all, that I like the most for being a practitioner because I think tools that you use on yourself versus tools that you use um, you know, professionally are a little bit different. Like one of the tools that is one that we don't sell quite as much as is the mini one but the mini one is absolutely um, amazing so I'm gonna just have you go shirt off for me sweetheart and put your head in the in the hole okay. 
And I'm gonna show you guys the mini one and how, face down. Cara abajo, mi amor. <laughs> Jordy speaks perfect English, but for some reason when I speak Spanish, he, he, he moves faster. <laughs> Okay, so we always like to start with a small claw tool and the ashley black oil to prep the tissue. And why is my mini one like at the very, very bottom <laughs> of the bucket here? Hang on one second. I keep my tools in this fancy basket, but uh, they do tend to fall down in there. So these are kind of like your ace in the hole tools, um, small claw, and then big claw, and then it has the nugget tip, okay? So I just, um, this isn't the whole training for, you know, chiropractors or professionals, but I just want you to get the general idea. So going back to that first layer of um, fascia, that's why we use a small claw tool because we want to start at the surface and we want to get some temporary blood flowing. Look how tiny the, we call them claws, how tiny they are. Um, and then you can go deeper. Jordy has amazing fascia, so it's, you know, it's not hard to get him red pretty quick. Can't decide if I want a wide shot or a close shot. I think I'm just going to go for the close. Sorry, no cameraman here. Alrighty, so you can see I, I barely started and he's already turning red. Um, and you really don't have to worry about hitting the spine, particularly at the level in which I'm working and the pressure that I'm doing. I'm, I'm still on the actual soft tissue. But look at this, people. You know, everybody wants temporary blood flow. We're doing all kinds of stuff with lasers and all this other, you know, just, you know, I call it like the fancy stuff when it really is way more simple than we've made it. Just already red, okay? So that is our face blaster, but you could use the master blaster as well. People absolutely love this inside the shoulder blades, okay? Chiropractors, you guys know one of the biggest problems is when this scapula gets adhered fascially to the ribs and people have that feeling like you know like oh, oh this rib needs to pop so this is an excellent way to get a little bit more at the precipice uh, you know what happens before the ribs stick down and before it pulls a rib head out all right then I love a big claw tool you can see the difference compared to my hand um, these can, you can use the fascia blasting technique, which is like the whisking technique, um, or you can actually use it like a massager, okay? So the bigger claw tools can serve a couple of different purposes there in either whisking through the fascia, if Jordy just doesn't have a lot of fascia issues, um, and then we can get down into the muscle fibers. This, I can tell you this, I don't think I could treat anyone without a nugget tip at this point. And I like for a practitioner the handle because look how easily I can come in. So if I find, let's just say right there, there's a little bit of a, a knot. I just poke right on top of it and just wiggle. And he, I see him squirming. It, it is amazing like how little I have to push to really get down into the tissue. And it's incredible, you know, people that have knots for like, you know, 20 years, <laughs> you can go after them with this tool and it's just so much more effective than your fingers because if I was going with my fingers, you know, my finger is gonna squish into this squishy tissue. And so there's just a lot of different techniques. This is all stuff that We'll teach the chiropractors and teach the LMTs and whoever is gonna use these professionally. I teach them to my audience. But we can go in and smooth that tissue. 
The other thing is, I know I'm just going to show you how versatile this particular tool is. Um, everyone wants to see this, right? We want to see that scapula up. So normally, I mean, think about it. I hope my chiropractors are watching like, oh my God, my life just got so much easier. They come in and they have to manually do this with their fingers. So if, he, if they're adhered, then you just use the tip to separate the fascia of the scapula like this. And if they're not adhered and you just want the mobility, you can go in. This is, the, uh, it's like a rubbery handle and it's, it's sticky. So look at the mobilizations that I can do. And I'm just showing on a scapula, but this applies to, you know, the whole body, any joint that you want to use. If you're a skilled practitioner, then these tools are, they're going to make so much sense so, so quickly. Also, just in terms of like prepping the spine for an adjustment, um, we have uh, the master blaster, and then I still love our original blaster. So I would prep the spine, <laughs> just sitting things on him. Uh, I would prep the spine with the small clawed master blaster. And what I want you to notice too, I do have my own line of oils and creams and the oil, you guys, is, <laughs> I'm like having to jump down here to get on the screen, but our oil, first of all, is amazing because you can spray it on and you don't get your hands slippery um, so that you don't slip when you're holding the tools. But if you want to use it for manual therapy, it literally is exactly the perfect mixture of slip and stick. Um, you can use it to do, you know, a quick sweetest massage, or you can do a deep tissue massage, and if you need to hold, it's not so slippery that you're slipping off of everything. It also has a thermogenic effect, so in terms of really getting that blood flowing, a thermogenic, just so you know, is a fat burner, but I, it's my plan to have the whole world using these instead of whatever else you were using. Okay, look, from a, a practitioner standpoint, look how easy it is for me to go all the way up and down his back. Um, super easy to get into, you know, those muscles that are deeper like quadratus lumborum. You can just come in from the sides. We actually did a really nice treatment along the pelvis, okay? So again, I want you picturing whisking through that tissue, not having to do this with your hands. And I think a lot of our therapists have almost completely given up their using their hands only just to kind of feel around because the tools are just so effective. Let's just put it this way. Had hands worked, I would never have invented these tools. Okay, so again, small claw for prep. Now, I'm, this is a really beautiful one that we have called the Party Blaster. Ooh. We also can maybe partner with you and put your colors in the glitter. <laughs> but this is fantastic for going much, much deeper. It makes it extremely simple. You can go right up and down the erector spinae like this. You can come in through lower trap, etc. The other thing I love is that the tools are great for mobilization. So if you wanted to hook onto the pelvis and actually, we call it distraction. You guys know those terms could actually distract the pelvis with the actual blaster. Um, and then I'm gonna show you the mini two, which is great because it has two nugget tips. It's really easy to use with one hand. You can come in like this. How amazing does that feel, Jordy? Yeah, it's amazing. And it really doesn't take a ton of skill, right? Because, you know, Jordy is a computer well, you'll, engineer. You'll have it. <laughs> yeah, and, and I've taught him to do this to me, you know, so it's, it's really nice to think of an office where people can, you know, if you're, if you're bound by your insurance or whatever, you know, people can blast themselves, you can have a tech doing this, you can have an LMT, you know, uh, and it just makes everybody's life easier. Then you've got a big tip and a little tip. The big tip you would use first, then the little tip to go deeper, and you can use any of the techniques. I love the poke and wiggle wiggle. And again, this is great with the mini one, but the mini two is super versatile. 
you know, this is to me the one you throw in your gym bag, this and the face blaster. Right? And then again, look, single-handed distraction. I can use the claws and actually hook onto the pelvis and do, you know, mobilizations and stretches, okay? All right. So many questions coming in. I'm just trying to make sure I made it through all of the tools. I don't even wanna get out. I'm gonna show them to you, but don't be mad at me. You know, I don't control what sells out. Um, I wish nothing ever sold out, uh, but this was so popular. <laughs> you can understand why. <laughs> this is called the Paddle Blaster. I mean, this thing is absolutely incredible. Um, we also, doctors, if you're out there thinking, you know, what can I do to help my patients with home program, particularly if we're talking about spines, you can attach, I think I'm done with you unless you just want me to mess with you, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> what he really wants is a knee treatment, I know, because we've been talking about it. Um, but the extenders can strap onto any tool that, um, has the handles, you know, so you can very easily work your own back, okay? So I, I love this. Let me, let me rewind two seconds. So when I was in the full throttle of traveling around and being kind of like the little secret weapon for pro athletes and working in the Hollywood world, one of the biggest challenges for me was just that I really needed them to maintain their results in between the visits. And, you know, I think when Fascia Blaster first came out, I know uh, uh, there was a lot of sort of instant negativity, like, oh, nothing's a substitute for my hands. And, you know, or it, maybe it, it felt like a threat to a professional practice, but I have to tell you, it is not. Um, people want to do their home programs and then they're even more excited about coming to see you because you can do the deeper work and the things that you're trained to do instead of weeding through all of this surface fascia. And so your patients can do all of that at home. So it really is just a total win, win, win. All right, I think that is all the tools. Master, Fascia Blaster, Mini 2, Mini 1, Face, paddle we have the big daddy that will be back available this is just the one that has six claws all the way across just much bigger this with extenders is big enough to blast a gorilla okay then we've got our oils which are incredible um, we also have the fascia blaster after blaster cream we need the big one around our house because jordy bathes in this basically <laughs> Um, but I did not design these haphazardly. I worked with amazing chemists for almost two years, and this one is infused with an ingredient called Ocelift that actually tightens skin. So any of my estheticians out there that want to start, you know, carving out jaw lines and tightening the neck skin, this is great. You blast with this and then use this after, or anyone who's working on legs, anyone who's a trainer, um, you know, and maybe even chiropractors are getting into the beauty business a little bit. The good news is that what looks good also feels good, so they go hand in hand. Um, they're saying I love the black blasters. They're coming, and then everybody wants treatment. <laughs> uh, fantastic. I love, thank you so much for all the validation. Let me just run through, just in case someone is just joining us. We have two programs that we have launched uh, tonight, and we have the links for you to go out and find information. One is we are now able to handle full service, wholesale and retail, and whether you're a practitioner or not, so if you own a gym, if you own um, a spa, if you own, what else, Jordy? <laughs> Why can't I think? An acupuncture place. You know, anything that is in kind of that holistic health. We have a new partner who we are in love with, and it is Meyer DC, and you can go 
uh, talk to your representative or you can come through our porthole and we'll make sure that we get you over there. Um, and we also have affiliates, which is anyone, and I literally mean anyone that's watching me, you can tag your friends in this demonstration, anyone that does any type of online live feeds, posting, whatever, we're going to be sending out a weekly newsletter to help you to promote the tools and then you get a link and every dollar that you sell through your link on my site with my products, you're going to get 15% and that can really, really add up quickly. We have a pretty high conversion rate. Most of the time people just don't understand how the products work and coming from one of their friends that they trust or their practitioner is I think going to be insane. So very, very happy about that. If you've missed anything, don't worry about it. Uh, we always have the catch-all. You know, my social media team is incredible. We're here to answer your questions. We're here to get you the links. You can inbox me. You can email me. You can chat me. You can do whatever. But the links to actually sign up are in the post to this live feed. So I hope that answers everyone's questions. And I just want to wrap by saying, just so you know, it is not a certification. You're going to become an authorized dealer or an authorized affiliate and then the professional education is going to come. We're going to have some private groups uh, where we're going to be teaching some very advanced techniques and so we're going to have to vet that but it is coming. So anyway, thank you so much for joining us. Come back over here babe because I know you're friendly and you want to say goodbye to all the <laughs> ladies and men. We had a lot of men tonight. Yeah, goodbye everybody. <laughs> and the people from Peru, Vegas, Canada, Cleveland. Tell him so, I saw all that. Wrap it up in a really good Spanish. He's professional Spanish. He's from <laughs> Spain Spanish. Even the people here are like, oh, Jordi, the best teacher. And I'm like, no, he's impossible to understand. <laughs> tell it to the people in Peru. You tell him. What? Just tell him, go sell fashion masters <laughs> and. Uh... Sí, toda la gente de Perú, los esperamos en Costa Rica para la certificación y muchos éxitos por allá y usar el Fashion Blaster y esperamos verlos pronto. It, it just sounds better coming out of his mouth. I need a French person too. You know? <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys, thank you so much again for joining us. Thank you all of our uh, new practitioners. We can't wait to work with you and our affiliates. Woo! Let's everybody go make some bonus money, honey. <laughs> Bye, good night, happy Easter.